So we're moving into our first Pilates and stretch section now. And like we've done before, I'm gonna ask you to go into an on all fours position. So if Lindsay goes into that position as well. First thing you're gonna do is come up like a cat and stretch up. So give that back a nice big stretch out, just releasing any tension in the back and then coming back down into your neutral position. So you've got that little curve in your lower back, making sure your belly button's still drawn back towards your baby, still gently drawing up through the pelvic floor as well. And very importantly, make sure your head is in the right position. Your eyes should be looking just around or above the line of your fingertips. Now draw the shoulders down away from the neck. That will help to bring your back into an even better position. And imagine you've got a pencil tucked underneath each armpit and just soften the elbows slightly. That will feel harder on the upper body, but that's a good thing. You want to feel strength in your upper body. And you're now gonna do those circular movements going in the clockwise direction, just going from one hand to the other hand, then dropping back into the knees keeping your back nice and still all the way through. Now this is all you have to do if you don't want to do anything more advanced than this. This is just a nice movement to do. So then if you go back the other way now, sit, so just circle a few times each way. And just as you're moving your body, you should feel all the weight going into your upper body, feeling a little bit harder than as you drop back, feels a little bit easier. This is all really good stabilization for the shoulders, good work through the core muscles. Lindsay's now gonna do the next exercise, which is that lifting one hand up and circling the wrist around, making sure that the back stays nice and still as she does this. Now you should feel a little shift in your tummy as you do this, if you're maintaining that nice and neutral line. So if you alternate hands in, do the left hand, that's it. So make sure you're still looking down at your fingertips, keeping your back nice and still, keep pulling your tummy muscles back towards your baby as you work through. Now if you want to go into the more advanced position, I'm going to ask Lindsay to do the hand circling one more time. You can go into that now. Again, it's up to you to choose what's right, feels right to you. Now if you are going to do the more harder position where you lift a leg off the floor, I want you to really listen to your pelvis and be very, very careful. So Lindsay's going to try that now option to do this, you don't have to. So Lindsay, if you just shift your, your weight slightly into your right hand. Now the trick here is to shift your weight forward into your right hand, but lift your right leg. Lift your right leg, good, and hold that position there. Now Lindsay needs to pull up through her tummy just a little bit more. It's much harder to do it in this position. I can feel her arm working, you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> Shaking a little bit as she does this exercise and release and come back down. You don't have to hold for too long. Now shift the body weight slightly into the left side and do the same thing again. The whole reason for doing that is it helps to keep you stable. If you shift your body weight slightly towards the right upper body, it stops you from tipping into the supporting leg side so you stay more centered and release and come down, okay? And just relax there. I'm gonna get you to do a stretch now. And if you just put your hands onto the ball. Now, before we've done a stretch down onto the floor, relaxing onto the floor, but you might find your bump is getting in the way now. So if you just put your hands onto the ball and just relax and stretch back. And that should feel nice if you've got a ball there. If you haven't got a ball to hand, then you can always put your hands up onto a sofa or onto a chair and hold that position. But that should feel quite nice on the back. Are you okay there? Good, so just give it a nice stretch out. Okay, so we're gonna go back into that on all fours position, but this time we're gonna do our first set of press ups. Now, in the first trimester, I got you to do one set, second trimester, I got you to do two sets. This time, we're gonna go for three, just showing that you can progress your exercise even though you're working up into a later point in your pregnancy. So, I'm gonna ask Lindsay to do that now, tucking the elbows in, making sure again she's in that nice neutral position holding that position there, and then she's gonna drop her eye level down towards the floor, bending the elbows back, making sure that she keeps her shoulders down away from the neck as she presses. I'm gonna ask her to do another one if she can. It's really important she keeps breathing all the way through as she does this. She keeps her tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. Now, if you haven't been managing to keep up with these press-ups, just do one set and leave it there. Again, all of this is optional. You can stop and rest whenever you want to. How are you doing, Lindsay? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna ask Lindsay to just do one more because she's gonna do all three sets. If you wanna do another two after that, then feel free to do that. Lindsay's just gonna rest it now. I'm gonna ask her just to sit back onto her heels and just release the wrists a little bit. And you can do the same thing as well. So basically you want to be aiming to do a, rep, a minimum of kind of four to six reps of the press ups in each set. You can go up to eight, even 10, if you feel you have the strength, which is really tough. So just pace yourselves. Okay, so the next movement we're gonna do is a stretch for the legs. So we're gonna go into a hip stretch and working into a position where you bring the knee up underneath you. So we'll both do this together this time. So we're gonna bring your knee underneath and take your knee out to the side and just 
lengthen the other leg out. So we've done the stretch before. Now again, you might find that your bump's getting a little bit in the way. So you can just hold the position that Lindsay's in now. Hold that position there. Or if you do still feel comfortable, you can drop down into your elbows and just relax down. It all depends on where you feel your bump is and if it feels comfortable. Your leg must be out to the side. Yep, so you need to have your leg that's underneath you going around the outside of your bump. And if you, you don't, if you have your leg too underneath you, then obviously there won't be room for your bump. You're stretching through the hips here. Really important that again, you connect your core muscles. So take a nice big deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, just pull your belly button gently back towards your baby. Hold that position. And it also helps if you think about trying to lift your tailbone slightly when you're in this stretch position. You're trying to keep the hips nice and level, so try not to tip either over to the right or to the left. And then change sides. This is a lovely stretch to do. Do you feel comfortable in that position? Yeah. yeah. Really nice to release tension in the hips after all that leg work that you've just done. That's it, and then drop down if you feel comfortable. Remember, you don't have to go down if it doesn't feel right. Do what feels right to you. Just hold in that position there. And again, take a breath, inhale as you exhale. Connect your tummy muscles. Think of trying to lift your tailbone up slightly and keeping your hips nice and level. It's good. It's time for another set of press-ups. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so take it into the press-up position again. Remember, just do as much as you feel comfortable with. Draw the shoulders down away from the neck. And then Lindsay's going to drop down into her press up position, making sure that she's keeping her eye level the same all the way through. Keep pulling your tummy muscles back towards your baby all the time. Now Lindsay's going down quite low here. Yep, you don't have to go that low, so if you want to do a half press position, you can do that as well. Keep trying to draw your shoulders down away from your neck. And these movements are so good to do because not only do they provide stability around your shoulder, it gives you great arm strength and when you have your baby and you're doing all the activities that a mother does, you tend to use your bicep muscles a lot all the way through as you're lifting and picking up. Are you okay there? Just rest yeah. and sit back. I'm going to get Lindsay to just do a stretch now for her upper body. And when you're lifting and picking up a child, you're constantly using your bicep muscles. You never use this muscle here, so it's really good to get that muscle nice and strong and aesthetically. It looks better as well if you can make it nice and strong. So we'll change it now. That's it. That's good. So we're on to our third set of press-ups there. Now, nearly there. You all right? So I'm just going to ask Lindsay to do four this time. You can take it up to six, even to eight if you want to. Keep pulling your tummy muscles in. Keep breathing all the way through. And remember, all of these are optional. We're just giving you the time to do them if you want to. Listen to your body all the way through. Do what feels right. You okay there? Yeah. Going for one more. Fantastic, good. And sit back. Now we've got one more exercise to do. And this is our, what we call our dumb waiter exercise. But we're gonna add a little different element to it this time. So holding onto your band, tuck the elbows in and pop both hands to the side. Take a breath as you do it, connect your core muscles, pull your belly button back towards your baby, pull up through your pelvic floor. Now extend and lift your right arm out to the side, just taking your elbow away from your side and pull it back in. Release, bring both hands back, and you do the same thing on the other side this time. So part the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pull your tummy muscles in, lift the arm out to the side, and bring it back, and come back in. So, so keep doing that, Lindsay. So what we're doing, by adding in the extension, the lift in the arm, we're just giving a little bit more work into the shoulder here. Try to keep the elbows tucked into the side all the time as you work through. Keep drawing the shoulder blades back and down. So you don't have to do that lift. Just do what feels right again for you. That's it. And bring the arm back in. Lovely. And we'll do it one more time. That's good. So just a little progression there if you want to use it. And coming back in and rest it there. And then we'll just grab the ball again and just finish off on another stretch with the ball. And just relax back. <laughs> 